Just landed in Melbourne. Going to go and see the sucker horn. The sucker horn. I've got to catch up with the sucker horn, so I've now got to find him. So that's the next next interesting decision. But uh, the sucker horn's picking me up. I'm in good care with the sucker horn. Can you watch the sign here? What the sign says? One minute drop off. That's right. One minute on the next one. Drop off only means stop it. All right. Okay. So seventy-five dollars in free can pick it up there. We're live, Archie Luxury and the Sucker Horn. And I gotta say this to you, Sucker Horn. What scares me in life the most? I tell you what scares me the yeah. most. Don't take yeah. this the wrong way. Yeah. Yeah. Don't take this the wrong way, Bucker Horn. But what scares me is that I'm 44. Yes. 45 this year. Yeah. If we go back to year 2000. Yeah. Right? Yes. You were my age. Yes. Does that make sense? Yeah, around the right. sort of way. 16 years, yes. How old were you then? In 2000? Yeah. I was at uh, 40, 45. So what worries me, John, is that in that time period, which I can remember back very easily, mm -hmm. you've now grown into an old man. You're a 61 year old man! It's that old, worries well, me. Yeah, well. The next 16 years, 17 years for me, is it a downhill slope? Yes. Yes, it is. This really, when, you know, when a man hits 50, you, you know, everything sort of changes. Your body changes, you, even your thinking sort of you know, changes. Uh, uh, <laughs> get into, we've got another bottle. I just don't want to waste. <laughs> this is 18, fuckers. 18. But when, when you're in your, your, your 50s, you realise you haven't got another 50 years is, to go. Is, is that waste? I'll finish it off. Yeah, 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 yeah. You've got another, you, know, you ain't got another 50 years to go when you're 50, have you? Now, got that another... worries the fuck out of me, John, is the fact that, the fact that I can remember year 2000 like yesterday. Yeah. I, I actually came to Melbourne. It's funny you say this. I came to Melbourne in 2001 for a contract, a work contract. And I've got, this is the first time I'd ever been to Melbourne, 2001. Mm -hmm. And um, it was fantastic. I stayed in Little Collins Street, actually. Yes, yes. In the yes. old, used to be a men's hostel. Oh, yes, yeah. yeah. yeah Ridges, yes. Ridges, I think. It, is and, it still uh, Ridges? I don't know what it is now. Oh, oh, I remember, yes, it was, there was a men's hostel up there, a men's home. They converted all to private accommodation, to rental accommodation, I think. Yeah, it's yes, quite yes. upmarket now, and I stayed there, and I had a great time in Melbourne, and uh, I, I remember, <laughs> speaking of the dirt, I remember walking down, I was, I was I thought, oh, I'll go for Explorer a bit, mm -hmm. and I, went, I remember went into this really seedy cinema, where they used to, they used to show yeah. porn, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really seedy yeah. cinema, and, yeah. 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 and you have these, have these porn flowing, they oh, you pay your fee and you see these real crusty brokes and you go, oh, where am I sitting? You know, what's oh. been here before? Oh. Real crusty sort of cinema. You think, oh, okay. I went in there and I walked out again. I thought, oh, fuck. Food stick to the carpet. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I got to tell you, John, those... I got to be honest with you, 17 years is just a flash in life, yeah. isn't it? 17 years. If I get another 16 years in, yeah, I'll be racked. Fair think I will be. You're uh, if, if I got, you know, I'm 61 now, if I got another 16 years in, I'd be stoked. That's all you want? Uh, I don't even want that many particularly. You know, if I, if I got another another 10 in, I'd say I'd, I'd be happy. As long as I could see my, all I want to see is my boy's education finished. My boy's education finished at high school and, and then I'm happy. You know, once, you know, I'd like my son to go to Melbourne High School. Is that, he going to get in? Oh, he'll get in. Oh, he's academic, you're saying? Yeah, yeah he'll, he'll get ah, into Melbourne High School. hard to get into. Yes. Very hard. Yes. But he'll get in there, you know, because of, you know, I went there. And Do they help you went there? Well, they say it. it, it, it there's, just because your father went to the school, it doesn't matter nowadays, but it sort of does, you know, if you, your father's an old boy at the school. You know, and... Um, 
you know, I would like my son to go there. If I know, if I know he get, Jack will go to, you know, to Melbourne High School, I know he'll get into university. You know, and, and the choice is, you know, he's from there. So, tell me this, John, this last 16 years, like I can remember 10 years ago, 10 years ago, right? It's 2017. It's not, not even fucking January, it's fucking March now. That's right, March. that's right. We're well into 2017. Yep, yep, well, you know, into it. well into it. And I got to tell you, you know, 10 years ago, 2007, I, I had a a job. I, I, I was on a project, really good project. I had a good job. I hadn't even started my YouTube channel yet. And um, fuck, what happened, John? What the fuck happened? Okay, 10 no. years ago, it was just like, I could, it's like yesterday. I was, mar I was married 10 years ago. I was a single bloke 10 years ago. Mm. I hadn't even met my wife. I hadn't even met, well, I had met her, but you know, we were, you know, we had no intention of getting married or anything at that stage. I never even thought about that at that stage. So, you know, like you're talking about 16 years ago, you know, when I was your, your age, I was living up at 20, you know, 22, 23 year old. Mm, mad as a cut snake. Mad as a cut, does that matter? <laughs> that doesn't matter. Great in the sack. Oh, she's an info. info. I can't get better than that. She wanted, she wanted it, you know, three, four, five times a day. Huh? Wow. You get sick of it after a while. About the first six or seven years you get sick of it. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to do it once or twice a day. Yeah. But, um, Johnny, what, what's it like to get that, that, that time gap is just, I can't believe how it's gone with things have changed so much, aren't they? Does that, does that worry you yourself? How do you, do you, are you in a point in your life where you look back and say, you know, well, as I said to you before, I did some dating and I said to this woman, I said, you know, you're 50 years old. If you were a fucking tube of toothpaste, you're more than half used up. Yeah. And I said to her, I, I said, I said in 30 years time, if we're lucky, we'll have Alzheimer's and be in a nursing home. I said, we haven't got fucking time to waste. That's right, you did a long time. And I said to her, she said, oh, I, want to, I want to take it slow. I thought, fuck, honey. Oh, God. It wasn't even a good sort. Yeah, why would you bother? Why I mean, what, what would you honestly say, John? I mean, I mean does, that, does that worry you that you know you've lived longer than you've got to go? You've passed the midpoint? Oh, of course, I must have to. I'm 61. More than 61. Of course, I've crossed the midpoint. I'm not going to come out with drug or something. I'm going to live, you know, you're going to live 100 years. It's just, it's just a matter of, you know, realisation of life, isn't it? It is. Yeah, it's a realisation of life. Unless you have some sort of understanding or, you know, comprehension of death. You know, yes. how, how are you going to have any understanding or a comprehension of life? Yes. You know, you, know, you did a long time. You did a long time. Yeah, you know, like I'm not the sort of bloke to sort of you know hedge my bets and think, oh well, I'm, I'm coming back for a second go at this. You know, like you know, as far as I'm concerned, this is my whack. You know, and if I, you know, if I, I can't get it in, it, you know, this time now, I'm sort of not going to wait for the next time around. You know, I'm not going to take the chances. And it's like you know, banking on getting to heaven. Well, I'm not going to bank on that either. You know, really, you know, like a. You know, um, heavens on earth in in, in, in my book. Now yes. look at look at you know like they can't see what we're looking at here, but you you, you can't buy that view. You know you, you can't buy that. You know it's a beautiful experience in life, isn't it? Yeah, it, it is. Magnificent it day, is, it long, is magnificent. sitting down having you know, a couple of nice scotches. You know, just being downstairs for smoke sushi. Had a little bit of sushi. Nice company. You know, very enjoyable indeed. Very enjoyable indeed. No, that's the whole thing, John. It's 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 over before you lo know it in life, and um, you know, you you remember that 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 famous pop star David Cassidy. Yeah, yeah. Partridge Family. The Partridge Family. He, he had more fans in the David Partridge, David Cassidy fan club than the Beatles, the Beatles yeah, yeah. or Elvis Presley. Mm. He's now got dementia. He's sixty-eight. Mm, a bit young, isn't it? Dementia. Dementia. He's born in fifty. Yeah, well, it's about what. Oh, it's um. 
dementia is you know, very, very sad thing. People lose their memory. We've got Marky. We've got Marky. I'll just cut that off now. Yeah.